The brand new Pokemon set Stellar Crown is finally here and has overshadowed Shrouded Fable, which only came out just last month. Unlike the previous set, which didn't go over very well with many collectors, this new set has everyone in the community hyped. With amazing looking illustration rares like Bulbasaur and Squirtle, to stellar rainbow cards bursting with color, this set feels like a breath of fresh air. Now let's see what the pull rates are like and hunt for my chase card to wrap ghosts. Let's do this. Oh, whoa, 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 speaking of illustration rares, let's go. Whoa! Oh, no way! No way! And here we are, brand new set, Stellar Crown. We are opening this a little bit on the early side. It's currently September 10th, so uh, any kind of prices that are thrown on the screen, they might just be uh, early bird prices before on TCG Player. Anyways, uh, Gollum, why don't you uh, come over here and uh, introduce us to the set? An adventure to awake in the power within Precious. Descend into a world below the surface with me, Precious, and discover the true potential of the terrestrial phenomena. Go, go. Oh yeah! If any of you guys didn't know, uh, sometimes I um, get Gollum out here to uh, open up some packs with us on the live stream. But today we are opening up an entire booster box of, uh, of Stella Crown. So let's uh, get this uh, booster box open, and we'll get the show on the road. Like I said before, yeah, my chase card right now is uh, the Terrapagos Sir. That card is incredible. It's highly detailed, bursting with color. Aside from Terrapagos, the other cards I would be interested in getting also are the uh, Bulbasaur illustration rare. Uh, Zero Aura, Bulbasaur, and the Hydrapple SIR. All right, so let's, uh, uh, yeah, we'll keep the booster box right here front and center and start off with pack number one. Gollum, would you like to do pack number one? Yes, precious. Let me do it. I'll come to first perk magic. Here we go, precious. Duraludon, Jortic, Tortinator, Tortscrew, Mewtwo, <coughs> Lucy, Celebi. Reverse, reverse, and last card is... Oh, is Medicham, yes, yes, I told you we'd get first pack magic. But yeah, uh, this uh, new set has a bunch of, uh, it's introducing the Stellar type of Pokemon, uh, hence the name, Stellar uh, Crown, in the video games. I think, uh, yeah, they had like some kind of new gameplay mechanic where Terrapagos is considered stellar typing which is um no matter uh i guess i, I forget exactly how the um the uh, attack works in the video game but i want to say whenever he used his uh, terra blast attack it like it was always super effective or something like that so that effect anyway in terms of gameplay wise I, I for the tcg i think it just acts the same way as the um the terra abilities that uh where you can't uh damage the bench if I remember correctly. Oh, whoa, 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 Mil Milsery, all right. Illustration rare already. Not bad, not bad. Let's take a little look at that. Is that candy? All that is candy. Ooh, what a nice looking card. It's got like a Pikachu cookie over there. Off to a good start. Not bad. I'm glad that they're uh, they're bringing back the uh, rainbow rares in, in some capacity. I was never a big, huge fan of uh, rainbow rares from uh, the Sword and Shield era. Uh, it just... Uh, I prefer having a, the Pokemon card with, uh, you know, all its, you know, color and... Uh, I like the energy cards here. I was hoping it was a reverse of some kind like Shroud of Fable. Uh, but yeah, in Sword and Shield, they did have... Uh, they had the Rainbow Rares and it was the entire card was all, like, rainbow-fied, right? This one, it's just, like, the borders and the colors on the card are just so much more eye-popping and... Uh, just containing all that, that color just to the borders is, uh, in my opinion, much better. That way you get to see the full uh, color of uh, the Pokemon. Terra hats, though, in my opinion, are still goofy, ridiculous looking. Out of all the uh, gameplay mechanics that Pokemon has ever created, I think the Mega Evolutions were by far and away the coolest, uh, the coolest feature that Pokemon has ever created. Completely changing the form of a Pokemon, making them just so much cooler. I mean, you can look at, say, Charizard Y versus his regular form, and uh, I don't know, I think most people would be in agreement that Charizard Y is, uh, looks cooler. Now, uh, there is a Legends of uh, ZA coming out. I think, I wanna say it's coming out next year. I don't think they officially released any, uh, I don't think they officially had a release date announced for it, but I would imagine it comes out next year or whenever the, maybe whenever the Nintendo Switch 2 comes out. But what would I li really like is if they had, uh, if you didn't know, Raichu is my favorite Pokemon. They need to make an, a mega evolution uh, for Raichu. Now that would be amazing. Nothing in that pack either. Bring to life the uh, 
Lost Art of uh, Gorochu. Yes. Gorochu. Let's Goro! <laughs> Those who don't know, Gorochu was uh, once a planned evolution for uh, Raichu. And, but because of the uh, amount of space that was uh, on the cartridge, there was just not enough space to for... Uh, ooh, alright, Orthworm EX. Nothing too crazy to get, get, get excited about. Ugh, can't even speak. Nothing too crazy. We still have only two EXs and one Illustration Rare. I used to always say that the hits are always on the uh, right side of the booster box, so maybe things will spice up and heat up in, uh, once we hit the right side of the booster box. Because of the last lack of space on the cartridge, as I was saying, uh, they, were, they had to cut a lot of evolutions out, like their third uh, forms from Pokemon, and uh, Gorochu just happened to be one of them. Nothing in there. I think we slow rolled enough of these packs. We're just gonna go straight through with it. Oh, Lapras EX, sweet. Now this is what I'm talking about when it comes to uh, the new uh, Stellar Terra Pokemon, and they have uh, the this rainbow border here. You see that? Very nice and shiny here. You know, they don't have to have the entire card be all rainbow-like, you know, they just have the border. And of course, all the, the shards that are all around the artwork as well. Uh, so yeah, as, as a terror ability, as long as this Pokemon is on your branch, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Still same kind of uh, Terra ability, even though it's considered like a stellar Pokemon. Next year though, with the launch of, or I don't know if it's next year, we'll see when Pokemon ZA comes out, but you would imagine that they're gonna be coming out with a bunch of like Pokemon sets to celebrate the Legend ZA game that's uh, released. Yeah, I thought I was gonna go through this faster. <laughs> Let's go through this faster. With the new set though, with if, if it does happen with Legend ZA, you can imagine maybe uh, new uh, Mega Evolution Illustration Rares. Now that would be pretty hot. <laughs> The uh, evolution, uh, Mega Evolutions back in the, you know, was XY era, they were cool and all, but the artwork was all CG. Now we're just like in such a prime age for illustration rares. Uh, the artwork is just amazing. And combine that with Mega Evolutions, whew, that, that, that's gonna be good. And also there's gonna be the Trainers Pokemon coming out. That was announced at Worlds today, That or not today, uh, a while ago when Worlds happened. Uh, Nothing in this pack either. Imagine trainer Pokemon with uh, their Mega Evolution uh, Pokemon as well. Now that would be pretty sweet artwork. Next year is going to be a huge year for Pokemon. Between uh, the Glory of Team Rocket set that's coming out and the Legends uh, ZA probably sets and the trainers Pokemon that's coming out, it, it's gonna it's looking to be a really awesome year for Pokemon. Your wallet, my wallet, all of our wallets are going to be crying. <laughs> okay, we got uh, only three more packs on the left side of the booster box. So far, not quite impressed. We got four hits so far. Two regular EXs, uh, Lapras, Stellar, Teller, Terra, EX. Probably the same pull rates, though. Uh, Charcadet, Magicham, and then also only one illustration rare so far. Not looking good. Mm. Where did I see online that somebody said that the pull rates are busted in this set? I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, this is only one booster box. Small sample size, but uh, yeah, know what? When you make a statement like that, it makes it sound like every booster box is uh, busted. Sparkling Crystal. All right, finally, we got something new. And Grim Snarl and Fire Energy. Where's that fire in the booster box though? This morning I saw a new illustration rare shown off of uh, Skarmory from, uh, I believe it was uh, Paradise Dragona, the new Japanese set that's coming out soon. And it looks like an it's an awesome illustration rare. You, all the colors like around the environment is just reflecting. Hydrapoly X, sweet, are reflecting off of the uh, uh, Skarmory's body because you know he's a steel type, right? It looks like an awesome uh, illustration rare. Anyways, Hydrapple EX. I always thought this Pokemon was like really cool when I played the uh, video game. I wanted to get that Pokemon on my team. I never cared for uh, like Flapple and. Appleton, those Pokemon. I know a lot of people, they like silly looking Pokemon, but I, I, that's a little, you know, pie never an apple, but turning them into this like Hydra being, like Hydra, turning them into this like Hydra Pokemon, you know, that I thought that was pretty sweet. That is some cool artwork from Mewtwo. Sometimes we just don't appreciate the commons enough. Imagine that as an illustration rare. Some of these uh, common cards. Oh, speaking of illustration rares, let's go. Raboots. Oh, this is one, of, I like this card a lot. This is a sweet, looking card. Look at this little snow bunny. This this is such a good looking card. Can't even tell like <laughs> his little tail looks like a snowball itself. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Nice illustration rare. Real quick, if you're enjoying the content so far, give this video a like as it helps get the attention of the YouTube algorithm to get my video out there to a wider audience. And lastly, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon for more videos like this. On to the right side of the booster box. But yeah, uh, Paradise Dragona in our English set, which is gonna be, our English set is called Surging Sparks. That comes out November 8th. So in our English set, we're also gonna get uh, the Latios and Latias illustration rares. Ooh, oh, oh, Briar, Briar. Wait, is this, this is not the SIR, is it? No, this is the full art, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's two silver stars on there. That's the full art briar. Awesome. This is a nice pull too. <laughs> what, is, what does this card do? You can use this card only if your opponent has exactly two prize cards remaining. During this turn, if your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack used by Terra Pokemon, take one more prize card. That is, that's a good card. Nice looking card too. What can I say? I'm a sucker for color. I like colorful cards. It's probably why Shrouded Fable didn't really go over very well with me. Shrouded Fable, that set was very uh, kind of dark in tone. And not that I have a problem with dark in tone Pokemon. It's just... Uh, it's just didn't, I don't know, I just didn't, it was just not one of my favorite sets. And I think that I can, a lot of people feel that way as well. Uh, but it's just, the pull rates were bad. I mean, my chase card was probably the Persian. No, no, I take that back. My chase cards were the promo cards. <laughs> if the promo cards were actually in the set, I think it would have done a lot better. The Greninja and Kingdra, the Kingdra would have been my chase card if that was in the main, main set. Uh, let's see, nothing, nothing, nope, nope, nothing in that pack either. Yeah, Shrouded Fable just, I think it kind of sucks. <laughs> but you know what, if you like it, you're entitled to your own opinion too, you know. It begs me the question though, because a lot of people, they're kind of done with Shrouded Fable at this point. Now that Stellar Crown is coming out, or is out right now, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, and it just makes me wonder, with people not opening up so many packs of, of uh, Shrouded Fable. Will that mean that the prices of these Pokemon cards are going to be going up? I mean, if that's the case, I'm I'm considering buying. I'm all I'm doing is buying singles at this point. I'm not going to be like buying any more booster packs of this uh, Shrouded Fable set. Uh, I think we're all done with that. We're just going to focus on Stellar Crown, and then of course, uh, Surging Sparks when that comes out next too. Singles are the way to go, though. It's the cheapest way to go about collecting Pokemon cards, and I think definitely Shrouded Fable is a good uh, set for that. Uh, Riolu, Gulpin, Raging Bolt. And that Raging Bolt. I feel like it's been like so many sets now. <laughs> there are some other uh, really good looking illustration rare cards that I saw coming out in our Surging Sparks set. One of them is the cast form. I don't know if it's an SIR or just an illustration rare. It was kind of hard for me to tell. I didn't look at the rarity symbol, but uh, that one, it reminds me of the unknown from, uh, ooh, Blastoise CX, nice. That's cool giving me some XY Evolutions uh, vibes. What was I saying? Cast form, yeah. That reminds me of the unknown from uh, Silver Tempest because the cast form shows off all the different forms of cast form. You got the sunny form, the cloudy form, and the rainy form all in all in one artwork. Just like how the unknown was. It was uh, all the different unknown letters. Uh, nothing in that pack either. On one card as well. We're just gonna zoom through these packs, I think, now. I think we uh, appreciated the artwork enough. Nope, we have about, let's see, three, six, seven. This is the eighth from the last last pack. Now what I am hoping for in the fu in future sets, because I saw that they showed a full art uh, Curum coming out uh, in, uh, which one? I think it was in Paradise Dragona, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so that means it's coming out in Surging Sparks. What would be awesome is if they made an SIR of Curum. And I hope they make the white, and it, they only showed off the black Curum. I hope, oh, oh, oh our Chaladon! Sweet, we got another illustration rare. Look at the cartoony comic booky artwork. <laughs> and this little kid is just walking up to him. Hey, how you doing, Archaladon? <laughs> well, adding that to the Pokedex binder, I don't have Archaladon in uh, my Pokedex binder anyways. This is the first set that he's in, I'm pretty sure, right? I heard there was an Eevee set coming out. I don't know too much details. I don't know if there was any money details coming that came out regarding that set anyways. Whoa! Cinderace! Dude! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> Although the border is not as shiny as the uh, Lapras border, it seems. But still, this is a sweet card. Nice pull. Uh, let me just compare that, though, to the uh, Stellar... Oh, no, Blastoise, sorry. Let me just compare that to the... Let's look at the borders for Lapras. Yeah, I, I feel like there's, like, more shine on the uh, Lapras border than the uh, Cinderace border. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Maybe I'm just going crazy, but still, sweet pull. So we got um, two illustration rares so far and uh, two full arts. So 
we potentially could get something more out of this booster box. All right, this is the uh, fifth from the last booster pack. Holiday season's coming up though. I would imagine a lot of the Shrouded Fable sets. Oh, ooh, Galvantula, Terra. Okay, no, don't get too excited. I For a split second, I was like, ooh, this is gonna be a really good pull. I mean, it probably is a good pull, but uh, it's not the uh, SIR. There is a SIR version of Galvantula as well, which looks really sweet. All the SIRs always looks really sweet. Holiday season's coming soon. So I would imagine a lot of the uh, Shrouded Fable products are probably gonna go like discounted. If you want, to, that would be a good time to buy. Down to our last three packs now. If you guys didn't know, I, I do live streaming every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Would love it if everybody uh, watching this would tune in. Those three again. There was a, uh, we always do uh, giveaways. Oh, oh, no way, no way. Oh, my chase card, Terrapagos, holy crap. Oh, no shot. When I thought there was gonna be more hits, I didn't think I was gonna get pull an SIR. This is what I'm talking about. Look how incredibly detailed. This is why this was my SIR, like my, my chase card for this set. Look how incredibly detailed this Pokemon card is. I don't know if it rivals the Giratina from Lost Origin in terms of detail, but you know what? I think this is just an amazing, colorful looking artwork. Unified Beatdown, Crown Opal for 180. Three different energy types for this uh, Pokemon card. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic non-colorless Pokemon. Let's leave that right away. <laughs> this is, I think, the most expensive card from this set right now. And I have a feeling it's gonna stay that way. I know the Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and I think the Lacey SIR are also like top contenders, like on the top of the list for, uh, in terms of market value. But this card I'm pretty sure is the highest for, in terms of pre-sales right now. I don't know what's gonna happen like in a few months from now, but holy crap, this is an amazing looking card. That is awesome. Okay, I don't wanna ask for anything else from these last two. I Really, I that's it. I, I, I don't need to open up this set anymore. <laughs> I got my chase card. All right. Last two packs. Let's just finish up this unboxing. You never know. We might get another illustration rare. Uh, we got two illustration rares and one SIR, but you know what? Uh, maybe we'll get something else. Who knows? But Venus or EX. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what I'm talking about. You know, you can, you, we're going to have to count up all the hits after this and see what we got because uh, this was a very generous booster box. Maybe the pull rates are pretty good for Stellar Crown. I don't know. <laughs> last pack, guys. I don't care for last pack magic, but if we do get anything out of this booster pack, I'll be happy. I'll be happier, I should say. I actually don't care because we got the Terrapagos SIR. That's okay. Iron Boulder. We are. We we are so good. We This is... Can't ask for anything more. I'm going to sleeve up these cards right now, and then we'll see... Uh, how many hits we got in total. All right, so we got 14 hits in total. Uh, I'll show you what we got here. Um, let me zoom in for you guys. Hydrapple EX, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven EXs. Thank God we only got one ace spec card. I'm, I'm not the huge, the, like the biggest guy when it comes uh, to competitive play. So ace spec cards to me kind of clog up the booster box. Uh, one uh, ace spec card. We got two full arts in Briar and Cinderace EX. And then as for illustration rares, we got Raboot, Archalodon, and Milsery. So three illustration rares and one SIR Terrapagos EX. That was a fantastic booster box. Absolutely fantastic booster box. 14 hits. I would say we're batting above average when it came to hits for that set. This was my first booster box I, have, I ever opened, so I don't know what other booster boxes we'll have. I have one that's going to be given away this Thursday for a giveaway. So if you'd like to win a bunch of uh, cards from the giveaway on Thursday, come to our live stream, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, and uh, we'll be opening up a bunch of Stellar Crown. But yeah, guys, I'm just so happy I pulled this Terrapagos SIR. This reminds me of when I opened up uh, Paldean Fates. I believe. And I opened up my first booster bundle and it was a bubble Mew. And I was like, oh, that's it. I don't have to open that set up anymore. That's it anymore. So any booster boxes I have, like, gosh, I have no idea what's going to be inside them. There are a lot of good SIRs still in this set. The Hyd Hydrapple SIR is really good. The Galvantula SIR is really good. The Doxbun, the Doxbun that like, that dough looking, bread looking dog. <laughs> and he's like surrounded by a bunch of pastries. That's a, another good looking one. Hey, who knows, maybe there's gonna be other SIRs in like, maybe there's SIRs in every single booster box. I don't know, we're gonna have to see. We'll see what happens this Thursday during the live stream. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like a shot at winning some stellar crown cards, join us every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, where we open up a booster box live and give away all the hits to lucky winners on a spinning wheel. But if you'd like to see more content now, click on one of the two videos you see on the screen here. Thanks for watching, folks. Keep on collecting, and I'll see you guys in the next video or in the next live stream. Thank you.